Have you ever wondered how struggling countries get back on their feet financially or how global economic stability is maintained? Enter the International Monetary Fund or IMF for short. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the IMF and its role in the world of finance. The IMF provides financial assistance to countries in need, often with conditions attached, to help them recover from financial crises. It also offers technical assistance to improve economic policies and institutions, paving the way for long-term stability. But the IMF's work goes beyond just providing loans and debt restructuring programs. It also plays a crucial role in promoting sustainable economic growth and reducing poverty in developing countries. So if you're interested in learning more about the IMF and its impact on the global economy, make sure to stick around for the rest of this video. The IMF was established in 1944 at the Bretton Woods Conference in New Hampshire, USA. The IMF's primary goal is to promote international monetary cooperation and facilitate international trade. The IMF currently has 190 member countries and its headquarters are located in Washington, D.C. Since its inception, the IMF has played a significant role in managing global economic crises. In the 1970s, the world experienced the oil crisis, which led to a significant increase in oil prices, and many countries struggled to adjust to the new economic reality. The IMF provided financial assistance to many countries, enabling them to adjust to the new economic conditions. In the 1980s, the world experienced a debt crisis, which affected many developing countries. The IMF provided financial assistance to these countries, and in exchange, they implemented economic reforms aimed at improving their economic situations. The IMF has also played a critical role in managing the recent global financial crisis that began in 2008. The crisis originated in the United States and quickly spread to other parts of the world. The IMF provided financial assistance to many countries, and in some cases, it worked with other international organizations such as the World Bank to provide comprehensive support. The IMF has evolved over the years to meet the changing needs of the global economy, and it will continue to play a crucial role in achieving sustainable economic development around the world. The IMF is a vital institution in the global economy. The IMF plays an important role in promoting international trade and economic development. The IMF promotes international monetary cooperation and exchange rate stability. The organization works to ensure that countries can maintain stable exchange rates and prevent currency crises. It also works to reduce trade barriers and increase trade flows between member countries through various programs and initiatives. The IMF provides a range of services to its member countries, including policy advice, technical assistance, and financial support. The IMF provides policy advice and technical assistance to help countries improve their trade policies and practices. By providing support and guidance, the IMF helps countries recover from financial crises and achieve long-term economic stability. The IMF's policy advice is based on its expertise and analysis of global economic trends and developments. The IMF also conducts research and provides analysis on a wide range of economic issues, including macroeconomic policy, financial stability, and international trade. It also collaborates with other institutions, such as the World Bank and the World Trade Organization, to promote international trade and investment. Another important function of the IMF is to provide financial assistance to member countries struggling with debt, currency crises, and various other economic difficulties. While the IMF has faced criticism for promoting austerity measures and exacerbating the debt crisis in these countries, it has also played a key role in promoting economic stability. The organization offers a range of financial support programs, including loans, credit lines, and debt restructuring programs. These loans can be essential in helping developing countries prevent financial crises, help stabilize their economies, and reduce their debt burdens. In exchange for financial assistance, countries must implement structural reforms. These conditions help countries address the underlying economic problems that contributed to their economic difficulties. Through these efforts, the IMF has helped many countries overcome their debt challenges and achieve long-term economic stability. Overall, the IMF is a critical institution in the global economy. Its programs and initiatives are designed to promote international monetary cooperation, facilitate international trade, and support sustainable economic growth and development.
the IMF's role in the global economy is essential to ensuring that the world's economies remain stable and prosperous over the long term. Despite its achievements in promoting global economic stability and development, the IMF has faced a fair share of criticisms, particularly in recent years. One of the most significant criticisms leveled against the IMF is its promotion of austerity measures in developing countries that have received financial assistance from the organization. Critics argue that these measures, which often involve deep cuts in public spending and social programs, can exacerbate poverty and inequality in these countries. Moreover, some critics argue that the IMF's approach to economic policy is too focused on neoliberalism, which prioritizes free market solutions and privatization over public investment and social welfare. This approach, according to some, can undermine democracy by limiting the ability of governments to enact policies that benefit their citizens. Another criticism of the IMF is its lack of transparency and accountability. The organization has been accused of imposing harsh economic policies on countries without sufficient consultation with local stakeholders, including civil society organizations and labor unions. In addition, the IMF's governance structure has been criticized for favoring developed countries over developing ones, with the United States and Europe holding disproportionate power in decision-making processes. Critics have also accused the IMF of exacerbating the debt crisis in developing countries by providing loans that come with onerous conditions, such as privatization of state-owned enterprises and reduction of public spending. These conditions can lead to a cycle of debt and economic dependence on the IMF, which can be difficult for countries to break out of. Despite these criticisms, the IMF has taken steps in recent years to address some of these issues. For example, the organization has increased its focus on social spending and poverty reduction in its lending programs, and has advocated for greater transparency and accountability in its operations. However, many critics argue that more needs to be done to ensure that the IMF's policies and practices promote sustainable and inclusive economic growth. The IMF has been a critical institution in the global economy over the decades. However, the rapidly changing global economic landscape is presenting new challenges for the organization. The IMF has been adapting to these changes and is likely to continue doing so in the future. One of the significant changes that the IMF is adapting to is the shifting global economic power dynamics. Emerging markets such as China and India are playing an increasingly important role in the global economy. The IMF is working to give these countries a greater voice in decision making and to better reflect their interests and concerns. Another significant challenge that the IMF is facing is the increasing complexity of the global financial system. The rise of new financial instruments and the rapid pace of innovation in the financial sector have made it more challenging to regulate the industry. The IMF is working to keep up with these changes and to develop new tools and approaches to manage the risks associated with them. The IMF is also addressing concerns about inequality and the impact of globalization on workers and communities. The organization is working to ensure that its policies and programs promote inclusive economic growth and development that benefits all members of society, not just the wealthy and powerful. Looking to the future, the IMF is likely to face several challenges. One of the most significant is the ongoing debt crisis in many developing countries. The IMF will need to continue to work with these countries to manage their debt burdens and promote sustainable economic growth. Another challenge is the rise of economic nationalism and protectionism. Many countries are turning inward and are becoming more resistant to international cooperation and trade. The IMF will need to work to promote the benefits of globalization and to help countries navigate the challenges associated with it. Overall, the IMF is a critical institution in the global economy and is adapting to the changing economic landscape. The organization is addressing concerns about inequality and is working to promote sustainable and inclusive economic growth. However, there are significant challenges ahead, and the IMF will need to continue to evolve and adapt to remain relevant and effective in the years to come. Thanks for watching this video about the International Monetary Fund. We hope that you now have a better understanding of the IMF's important role in managing financial crises and promoting sustainable economic growth.
Through its financial assistance, loans, and debt restructuring programs, the IMF helps countries recover from economic downturns and address underlying economic problems. In addition, the IMF provides technical assistance to improve economic policies and institutions. By working together, we can create a more prosperous and equitable world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos on important global issues.